G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to be seeing if I can one shot the ender dragon with the new mace. I'm in snapshot 24wa and in this snapshot they've added the mace. So what this weapon does is it scales the amount of damage you do by full damage. So if I hit him once it does a fair bit of damage you can't see but if I fall a bit it should one shot this zombie. And also knocks the other zombies back. Yeah, so these are the items I've given myself. I've got a pickaxe, the mace. I'm going to be in the end, so I need a carved pumpkin. And yeah, I've got tons of scaffolding and a bit of food. Yeah, so the scaffolding will become very useful when I have to build up very high and then fall a long distance so I can deal the most amount of damage with the mace. Anyway, I think I need to get this show on the road, so let's do this. And I spawned underground, that's why I gave myself a pickaxe. There we go, we've now emerged, and where is the ender dragon? Ah, oh, there it is. Why is it so foggy? I have my render distance at 16. Yeah, it's really foggy for some reason. It's going to make it really hard to see the ender dragon when I'm really high up. Whoa, better watch out. Anyway, I'm using the wind charges to get rid of all of the end crystals. There we go, got that one. Oh, I missed. Oh, did I miss? I don't, I can't tell. <laughs> Come on, get through the gap. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm also doing this with no armor. And I think I'm going to have to scaffold up to this one. Oh gosh, okay. And... I think that wind charge saved me, I can't tell. <laughs> okay, so that's the main problem with using scaffolding, is that the dragon can really easily just get rid of it. Oh gosh, it happened again. Oh, I saved myself again. These wind charges are so good, they're way better than a water bucket. I think I've actually gotten all of the end crystals now, so I think now I need to just build up really high and see if I can get him. And I'm going to try and hit him when he's stopped at the the portal gate or whatever this thing is called. So yeah, I'm going to start building up. I'm going to go a fair bit away, so there's less of a chance of him knocking out my scaffolding. And I haven't calculated... Oh, he's already knocked over one. <laughs> Gosh damn it. <laughs> Um, I haven't calculated how much scaffolding I need and how much fall distance I need to kill him, but yeah. Okay, I'm going up. Ooh. Oh no! No! <laughs> I was so close! Okay, going straight back in. I think I did actually hit the wind charge, but I just clicked it too late so it didn't even count. Oh no! Oh, I saved myself again, even though it was sort of to the side, it still worked. But yeah, he just knocked over my whole tower. Once I get to the top of the scaffolding, I'm going to place an end stone. There we go, I've placed some end stone at the top of the scaffolding for that exact reason. Oh my gosh, okay, so now there's no way to get down. Is he coming up to get me? Oh no. Wait, did they change the pathfinding on the ender dragon? Um, I swear this wasn't how the pathfinding always was, but I think I've gone higher than the dragon can fly up. So I'm going to make my way to the middle, I think my render distance all the way up. And yeah, I still can't see that that fog is crazy. It might be a bug that the fog's like this. I think I'm close to the middle. Like I'm seeing a few of the towers all around, even though you probably can't see it. Whoa! <laughs> That was close. What? How are you getting up here? Oh my gosh. I think I just dodged it. <laughs> I was about to say, this is where the, the portal is. I'm pretty sure. This is coordinates zero, zero. So hopefully this is the exact coordinates and all I have to do is jump in this hole. And yeah, I should be able to hit it. I'm checking through settings and I'm not seeing a setting to turn fog off. What have I... Turn this to fast. Does that make it better? No. I don't see any setting to edit the fog. Ouch. Ouch. No. Oh, no. I saved myself. Okay, now I've got to get all the way back up there. Okay, so what I'm going to do to see when it goes over the portal is I'm going to go into spectator mode. 
and I'm just going to watch it. And as soon as I see it go down there, I'm going to quickly go straight back up and change game mode, then jump off. Because there's no way for me to be able to tell when it goes to the portal. Um, what happened? He just got stuck on this end stone. This video isn't going as I planned. I wonder if I go and survive. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, look, he's still stuck there. Did I bug him out somehow? Is this a, like a glitch in the new update? Um, okay. This might actually make this challenge so much easier. So I think all I have to do is just build up a bunch more and then drop down from build height and kill it that way. The build limit is not as tall in the end as it is in the overworld. This is not good. I still might be able to one shot it though. Okay, I ran out of endstone, but this right here should be the block I have to fall through to land and kill the ender dragon. Hold on. <laughs> I, I came down to check to see if the ender dragon was still there and it wasn't. It escaped. <laughs> so I guess back to the original plan of waiting for it to land on this bedrock. Oh no, he's doing it again. He's going to get stuck right here. Watch it. Watch this happen. Watch. Oh, no, he's going up to where I am. Oh, this is not good. Yep, he's going to break down my scaffolding. <laughs> and he got stuck. Oh my gosh, what is this wizardry? Never mind, he just got released. So I think the blocks I'm placing here are a problem and it's causing it to pathfind all the way up here. So I think I'm going to get rid of them. All right, so I've removed all of the blocks. Well, not all of them, but... The blocks that were making him bug out and fly all the way up to try and kill me. Um, so now hopefully this should work. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he's down there. I think, I think this is the chance. Yes. Oh, so close to one shot. No way. That all happened so quickly. I was in spectator mode watching it and then it was just, it was going down. So now I know it's impossible to kill it from falling from the max world height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal him up. All right, he's healing up now. Now I'm up. So now I'm up at 305 blocks. I'm going to see if this can kill him. All right, now all I have to do is wait for him to fly over and land on this portal. And then I have to teleport all the way up and fall down and one shot him, hopefully. 20 minutes later. What's finally happening? Okay, all I have to do is teleport. Okay, I'm teleported. Don't... Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. And... Oh, I missed! Okay, round two, round two, round two. I missed again! And... Can't miss... No, I missed. Okay, this is it, this is it. Come on. Oh, how did I hit that? Okay, this is it, this is it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, this is it, this is it. I swear I should have hit that. Oh. And... Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. And one shot the Ender Dragon with the mace. If that wasn't a scuffed video, I do not know what was. So it takes you somewhere between 255 and 305 blocks to one shot the Ender Dragon. So I guess the best way of doing that is flying up with an elytra, taking off your wings, falling, hitting it with a mace. Then bam, you've killed the end dragon in one shot. Which I should have probably done in the first place. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone, take care, bye bye.